Hello! Hello again, oh best beloveds! It's time for that video format where I buy a lot of tat. You know, like all the formats on this channel. It's Lucky Nine! Except this time, I didn't go off to oldwish.com, I went off to AliExpress. Because I thought, hey, that'll be a bit different, they're a little bit more technologically slanted. Um, but that's not really how this thing went. So anyway, <clears throat> here's the idea behind Lucky Nine, just a quick recap. I order eight different products by using a random word generator. Random word comes up, I type it into AliExpress, and the first item that costs five pounds or less, including delivery, is purchased and shown before you. And the last one, the ninth, is basically anything that costs between 10 and 15 pounds, like a big bonus thing. How absolutely lovely. And let us begin with word number one, lawyer. Lawyer. What could a lawyer possibly get from AliExpress that would be useful to them in their legal lives? Well, the answer, of course, is a pair of cufflinks from Mimo Lissa. Mimo Lissa? Yumo Lissa? No, Mimo Lissa. Um, it's... oh. I was expecting them to be actually mounted in the case. Well, you can do that at your leisure. They are not actually something for a lawyer, but apparently something for a judge. Fair enough. Uh, they are two small hammers. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. Oh, I can't get out of the bag. Come on, come on, come on. Yay. I, I said the yay too soon. I haven't got it out yet. Oh, we made it. So there we are. If you've got your oldie timey shirt without buttons on, or your particularly posh shirt, I suppose, you can use these cufflinks and have little judge's hammers. Maybe you could get a set of matching gavels in order to bang them with. That's the bit of wood they hit. A gavel, isn't it? There's a bit of trivia for you. Um... Yeah, it's a pity actually. It'd be good if one was a hammer, one was a gavel, you see, but no, they are two hammers. So if you are Judge Judy, or Judge Rinder, or Judge Giant, or somebody else from Judge Dredd's continuity, you can have these and prove to everyone at posh events that you're a judge. What a ponce you'll be. Also, amazingly, I just looked in the box and it comes with a lens cloth in order to wipe the fingerprints off your tiny hammers. Ah, oh, what a world we live in. Wage. Wage. Now, what does wage mean to you? Earnings? Salary? That kind of thing? Hey, you can wage war on something, can't you? Well, none of these seem to have anything to do with what is quite literally an iron-on patch of the poster that uh, Mulder had on his wall in the X-Files. I want to believe in flying pies. Yeah, he wanted to believe because, like, his brother was abducted by a UFO when they were kids or something. That, that was the setup, wasn't it? But, oh, Scully, she was so sceptical and so cynical, but then they got abducted by aliens 50 times, and then she believed everything, and, I don't know, I only watched the end of series two, but um, I did quite enjoy it. It was a massive uh, thing in pop culture at the time as well. Absolutely huge, the X-Files. Mid-90s now, wasn't it? What was the name of the bloke who made it? Chris Carter? Chris something? Chris something, beginning with C. I well, another programme called Millennium that I heard was quite good, but nobody liked it for some reason. Ah, uh, what days. But yeah, get yourself a hot iron, stick that on your coat, and then everyone will know you watch The X-Files? Dunno. I mean, if you're a judge who wants to believe in UFOs, so far we've really got you covered. Costume. Costume. I was very excited when this word came up, because it's generic enough, and yet also interesting enough to give something... I was expecting some sort of interesting cosplay stuff, but the first item under £5 was... Hello. It is a Salvatore Dali mask. Now, I believe this is the sort of scene in the um, TV series, or is it a Netflix series? I don't know. You can watch it on a TV anyway. Um, called Money Heist. Where, where, like, they're going on a heist for money or something. Don't know. Haven't watched it as yet. Sort of thing I would have watched when uh, researching our film, Ashlands and the Polybius Heist. But it wasn't out when we were writing the script. It's new. So um, there you are. So you can now wear this and pretend to be the famous Spanish surrealist. And uh, make paintings such as uh, Autumn Cannibalism and Flight of a Bumblebee around a pomegranate a moment before waking and all that kind of stuff. Ah, dearie me. Now, I'm going to tell you my favourite Salvador Dali story now. He once gave a talk at, like, uh, quite a prestigious place, and he turned up in a deep-sea diving suit with, like, two massive dogs straining at the leash and uh, tr snapping at everybody. And then he walked up to the front and started to give a speech, and nobody could hear a thing, because, of course, the diving suit was airtight. 
you just sort of got Dali at the front going rawr, 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 and gesticulating. Problem with the suit being airtight is he started to suffocate <laughs> and nearly actually died whilst giving the speech. But people managed to rush over and just get kind of the mask undone in the nick of time so he didn't die. Ah, uh, now if that is not la surrealism, I do not know what is. Anyway, let's all go off and watch uh, and Shan Andalou and Large Door. I'm sure they're all on uh, YouTube these days. Allow. Allow. I was very interested in this one because it was not something I expected to see on AliExpress or frankly anywhere in my entire life. Also, I've got no idea what it's got to do with the word allow, but uh, it's, it's like a model chicken coop for a doll's house. <coughs> yeah. Of course it is. Look, look you, you, you hay and stuff in the bottom there. Look, you can take it out and clean it when you've put your tiny, tiny chickens inside. It's even got proper wire mesh and stuff. Actually, it feels more like that string or something. It doesn't matter. It looks the part. A lot of sort of glue on here. It's a bit rough, but, uh, you know, it is It is a chicken coop that made to a certain sort of uh, scale. It's, it's very odd, this, isn't it? It really is. I mean, why would you... Uh, but, I don't know, maybe you're making a doll's house and you're thinking to yourself, do you know what? Can't be bothered to make the chicken coop. I'll look at AliExpress. Oh, wait for it. Maybe you could keep your hammer cufflinks in it. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm just going to put that over there and uh, frankly worry about the existence of it. Software. Software. Got all the cool words out this time, or so I thought, but uh, what software would AliExpress sell? Well... The first thing for a fiver or under was a Miracle Boot Jig. Let's get it out of its package. Um, yeah, if you've got want to do a jig and you're wearing a boot and, and it'd be a miracle for you to do it, this would be completely useless because this is something you plug into the bottom of Chinese Android phones to get like the boot ID from it, which is apparently a thing you need if you're, I don't know, un unlocking them or repairing them or something with them. But yeah, specialist software and this thing will get you the information you need. I can't help feeling this isn't going to be of particular use to my life going forward. Um, but hey, it has three amusing words on it. It does sound a bit like a magic dance, doesn't it? Oh, come along, we'll do the miracle boot jig, so we will. Oh, we had fun with the dance, but the accent was a bit racist. Fish. Fish. Well, fish was... I was expecting something that fish-shaped or that looked like a fish, but instead we've got something for an aquarium. Like a sort of tiki head thing, made out of um, a very rough and unpleasant feeling sort of clay or something. Mm, makes a pleasing tinging noise if you ping it. It's got a slightly glittery surface, probably covered in some paint that'll kill your fish, you know, marvellous. But there we are, if you've got an aquarium, you can have this face in it. And then you will no longer not have that face in your aquarium. Um, you could use it outside an aquarium, um, put a candle under it, I suppose. You could put a candle under it inside an aquarium, but I've got to say, candles don't tend to work very well when underwater, in my experience. Well, there we are. Um, that, that, that's pleasing, isn't it? Tell you what, if we put that there in the chicken coop there, we've got the start of our own nativity scene. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've just realised we've got the three wise men coming next. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Hang on. I want to believe that Jesus came down from the heavens in a UFO. Here we are, that can be the, mat. That can be the doormat. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, let's call the three wise men then. Prison. Prison. So, for reasons I have no understanding of, Prison came up with a load of fake Lego minifigures. And due to the way the uh, listings worked, I could basically pick three of them. So I just picked three out. Well, technically I picked four out, but one never arrived. So we only have three. So for our nativity scene today... <laughs> We have the three wise men. And the first wise man is... Uh, do you recognise him? Do you recognise him? They're all knock-off Lego, because there is no official Lego of any of these things. It is... Varys. Varys from Game of Thrones. The bald guy who's like a very clever... Uh, oh, yeah, his, his, his body falls in half. That's a big plot point in uh, Game of Thrones, how cheaply made he is. Um, yeah, he's an advisor and uh, master of spies and such things. And here he is, just before he gets burnt alive by a dragon. Ooh, spoilers! Ha! Not really. The last bit 
Game of Thrones is a bit crap, really, so nobody cares. There's a lot of nice detailing on this. His uh, sort of robe thing he's wearing. Mm, mm, good. Lots of points there. And he is a wise man. So there we are. You can come along for the birth of whatever our Jesus substitute is going to be. I'm looking down at the next items coming. It's not going to be anything that makes any sense. Um, our second wise man is... Uh, Andres Manuel López Obrador. <laughs> Who is, I believe, the president of Mexico. He's got to knock off Lego figure for some reason. I don't quite understand. Um, I don't understand why they've given him, like, weird teeth as well. Like, like it was like a sort of beaver or something. I don't know, some sort of political satire or something. But anyway, he's got a thing that says, Morena, la esperanza de Mexico. Good, excellent, and it's made by Kopf, which I believe is German for head, so uh, that's a thing. Hey, give me back the focus. He's a president, don't you know? <laughs> well, there we are. He's probably quite a wise man as well, isn't he? <laughs> so who would the third wise man be? You've got the president of Mexico. You've got Varys from Game of Thrones. Obviously, the third wise man would be Robocop. I mean, <laughs> there's absolutely no reason why he wouldn't be. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Directive 4. No shooting G's eye. Um, that's the plural of Jesus. Uh, yeah, oh, the bloody hell, really having trouble with the autofocus today, isn't it? Yeah, he here we are. It's it's quite well done, I suppose. I think with Robocop, I could have done it without the... or done without the um, little nodule on the head there. It does kind of spoil it a bit. But there's lots of detailing on it. Detailing on the legs and the arms and things. It's quite nicely done. Even at the back, and even the back of the legs, which I don't think is something they ever really do in a proper Lego. There, there we are. There's our three wise men. And what was the magic device... Hang on, I'm, I'm going to move this down so it's more cinematic. Um... Yeah, I ordered four of these and the other one didn't come. The other one was a different Robocop. It was a Robocop, but uh, designed totally differently. But that never arrived, so all we can do is be sad about it. Let's open the chicken coop. Yay! Preference. Preference. So, what do we have a preference for? Well, we obviously have a preference for, you know, what the Magi here have come to see. Our Lord and Saviour which is going to be the one item left that isn't the expensive one. And for some reason, preference brought up this weighing module. <laughs> Don't worry, mankind is saved. <laughs> well, be saving us um, wasting things by putting too much in the recipe by weighing it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I haven't got a bloody clue what this is that just said weighing module. And that was it, really. Um, what else to say to that? It costs £2.42. When I say it costs £2.42, it actually costs £2.42 for five of them. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what they connect to, I don't know how you use them, I don't know anything about them whatsoever. Hang on, I'm going to try and open one up. There we are. The holy power has been unleashed. Um, yeah. We've got some pins, and we've got one of these. There's probably somebody in the comments section who knows what uh, how you would use one of these. Connect it up to something or other. It looks, just looks like a basic uh, chip circuit to me. I don't know how you, what it would connect specifically to to allow it to weigh stuff, but there you go. Well, that, that, that's a thing, isn't it? Look on the face of your new saviour. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't have a face. It's a lump of plastic. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, um, there we are. What could possibly, possibly be better than this? <gasps> the Archangel Gabriel has to come down and bless the whole of this beautiful, beautiful nativity scene. And the Archangel Gabriel will be the expensive final item. Wait for it. <clears throat> Figure. Figure. I was so excited when Figure came up because there's loads of like knockoff action figures and stuff on AliExpress. Oh, this is going to be great. The first item between ten and fifteen pounds was not what I wanted. The second item, I uh, was a knockoff Star Wars figure arts figure, like one of the really sort of articulated ones, but a knockoff one that I'd have been really interested in. Oh, but no, that was the second item. The first was this massive lumpy oh got the bloody camera up again now massive cheap lump of resin in the shape of yes a ring wraith from lord of the rings 
I mean, it looks all right from a distance. Uh, you know, it's got, it's got no face like the Ring Wraith generally didn't in that design. Look, ooh, it's not very well done. I mean, it's basically just been cast in black. They've done some some dry brushing by the looks of it, actually, on the uh, hands and the sword and the little shoe. Um, yeah, the bottom's got some felt on it, so it doesn't scratch anything. I mean, that's something. But the whole thing just feels a bit kind of... Uh, I mean, it's solid. It's not going to break. That's on a, the, the, the hilt of the sword is on the wonk. Look, the handle. It's not very good, isn't it? Can you... Oh! That was a mistake. Great. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Well done, me. Yep, the first bit... Looks like it's been glued on before. Look, there's all bloody wet glue around it. Well, not dried glue, but you know, it just looks... Oh, unbelievable. Well, apparently... That is the Archangel Gabriel for our uh, nativity scene here. Uh, it could have been the Archangel Galadriel. You see, that at least sounded a bit like it, but no, it is a ring wraith in, in looking spooky and evil over the scene of the birth of um, all these weighing modules. Yes. Why not? Absolutely, why not? We've got no um, Mary and Joseph in this, actually, haven't we? Well, I suppose um, uh, Mary and Joseph are a miracle boot jig and a set of hammer cufflinks. Don't feel that's keeping in with the ethos of the whole thing in quite the same way, but I tell you what, <laughs> Salvador Dali would approve. <laughs> He would use his paranoid critical method to come up with some fantastic, bizarre meaning for it. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, there we are. What can we say to that, except I spent £12.29 on the crappest ring wraith ever shat out of Satan's bumhole. Absolute nonsense. Well, there we go. That is another set of incredibly random, bizarre items. This time from AliExpress. <laughs> Thank you.